Hey there, history buffs. Welcome to another exciting journey through time. Today, we're diving into the rich and rather interesting history of cannabis. Buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. Our story begins in ancient China around 5000 BCE. Imagine back then cannabis was the Swiss army knife of plants. The ancient Chinese used it for everything from making rope to treating ailments. Emperor Shen Nung, also known as the father of Chinese medicine, gave cannabis his royal thumbs up for its healing powers. Talk about an ancient endorsement. Fast forward to ancient Egypt. The Egyptians weren't just building pyramids, they were also partaking in some herbal relaxation. Cannabis was mentioned in several ancient texts as a remedy for sore eyes. That's right, even Cleopatra might have used a little cannabis salve, who knew? Moving on to India around 1000 BCE, cannabis became the star of the show in spiritual rituals. Known as Bang, it was consumed during religious ceremonies and festivals. Hindu gods were pretty chill, it seems. They believed cannabis was a gift from the divine. And who are we to argue with that? Across the globe, the Greeks and Romans were also in on the action. The historian Herodotus wrote about the Scythians, an ancient nomadic tribe who threw cannabis seeds on hot stones to create a smoke-filled tent. They called it a steam bath. They call it ancient hot boxing. By the Middle Ages, cannabis traveled to the Middle East and Africa, where it continued its medicinal and recreational journey. Islamic scholars debated its use, but many folks still indulged. Sufi mystics even used it to enhance their spiritual practices. Sounds like a pretty enlightened approach, right? Jumping to the 19th century, cannabis made its way to the Western world. It was a hit in the medical community, prescribed for various ailments. Even Queen Victoria was rumored to use it for menstrual cramps. If it's good enough for royalty. However, the 20th century brought a dramatic twist. Cannabis faced heavy scrutiny and was eventually outlawed in many parts of the world, but like a resilient weed, it persisted. The counterculture movement of the 1960s brought it back into the spotlight, and today we're seeing a resurgence in its popularity and legality. So there you have it, folks. From ancient remedies to modern highs, cannabis has had quite the journey. Next time you hear someone talking about the new trend of cannabis, remind them it's actually one of the oldest tricks in the book. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more historical adventures. See you next time.